You cannot say that to me. You're being intolerant of my beliefs. No, I think your beliefs can be right for you. Okay, yeah, you're being intolerant. Now listen, what? No, 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 listen wait, Listen to wait. this. Okay. I believe the sun is hot. If someone believes it's cold, are we both right? Depends. It so you can accept that? You know, like, it always, it always depends on your perspective. Who is right? You never know. This is a good example of relativism. Relativism is the philosophical position that all points of view, no matter how strange or ridiculous they may seem, are equally valid, and that all truth is left up to the individual to define. This means that all moral positions, all religious systems, are truths that are relative to each individual. In other words, there are no right or wrong answers to anything. It's easy to recognize relativism because most of its statements sound intellectual, but at second glance, they make no sense. They're self-refuting. They go something like this. You can't know anything for sure. You shouldn't judge. You can't know anything. What is true for you is not true for me. Now, the easiest way to refute statements like those is to simply turn them back around. You can't know anything for sure. Are you sure of that? Are you sure that you can't know anything for sure? Well, you shouldn't judge. Is that your judgment? If you shouldn't judge, then why are you judging my judgment? Well, nobody's right. Are you right? Are you right that nobody's right? And if you are right that nobody's right, well, then you're wrong about nobody being right. Well, well, what is true for you is not what's true for me. Well, that's true. And what's true for me is that you're wrong. So who's right? So the next time you're confronted with that relativity nonsense, just turn it around. Question their logic and help them to realize that their point of view just doesn't make sense.